to Somerset Piggies. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning Teddy out. Um, as you can see, he is pretty mucky and some family members are coming down and I don't really want him to be as disgusting. And I'm gonna change his setup. As you can see, he's awake at the moment, playing on this toy. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment down below. So the first thing I like to do is I like to take the lid off the cage and I like to put him on the floor so that he can just crawl around the floor so that's what I'm going to do next. So as you can see he's just over there crawling around. So I've got a few ideas of the way I want to set up his cage this time. I'm definitely going to put this tubing back on. I've got a few other things um, I want to do with his cage but at the moment this is his setup that he's had. So I'm now going to clean him out. So the first thing I like to do is take out all the bits in his cage. So now taking out all the bits, what I'm going to do is going to go grab a scoop a bag and I'm going to scoop out all the old bedding so I can put fresh in there. So I've just grabbed my dustpan, brush and the bag so I'm now going to scoop out all the muck. The next thing I like to do is disinfectant in the cage and I just use clean and safe litter tray disinfectant cleaner and this one is for cats I do know. He's just over there chilling. I don't think he's really liking it in there. I don't want him to fall. I'm just going to go grab him quickly and then I'm disinfecting I them. have just finished disinfecting Teddy's cage so I'm now going to go grab some bedding and we're going to fill it out with some bedding. So I just grabbed some wood shavings out so I'm going to fill his cage up with wood shavings. Let's go. So I've just filled his cage up with sawdust. I put it up to around about this line that the cage has um, so it's still pretty deep. Um, so the next thing I'm going to pop in is this little corner feature that I'm going to put into his cage so he has somewhere else to go. So for his corner feature, I'm using a different type of bedding. This is called like Orbazoil or Orbazo or something like that. But you guys probably know what it is. Um, and I'm going to be using this corner to make this little area. So I've just finished this little corner feature. As you can see, it's got a different bedding to it. Um, so that he has somewhere else that is like a different so like a different area where he can burrow himself in So the next thing I'm going to pop in is all the stuff that's going to go to under the ground As you can see from the last clip, I put all of his stuff into his cage So it took me a while to decide what I wanted to do with this cage this time But this is what I came up with So I need to give him some water, some food, he needs to have all his bedding into his houses and he needs to have his tubing put on as well. As you can see, he's just rolling around. Buster, come here. There he is. So um, I'm gonna get on and put his tubing on now. So I finally got all his tubing on. It was really difficult, um, but I've got it all on now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill all of his houses up with bedding. As you can see, I had a slight move around just so I could fit his litter in. I know I have to clean that out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to fill all his houses with bedding. So for his bedding, I'm just using the Pets at Home Bedding Medium Recycled Paper and some Soft and Safe Bedding by Rosewood Naturals because he absolutely loves this. So I've now just finished um, doing his cage. Uh, so putting some bedding in his cage. I haven't finished his cage yet, but I've finished putting some bedding in. So we're going to move on to the so next, next step. step is washing all of this stuff up and getting it all nice and clean. Um, so yeah, let's get on and do it. So I've just finished washing them and drying them. So I'm now going to fill them up with the stuff that they have in each bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All done. So now he's got food, water and vegetables. We can move on to the next. So before I do anything else, I'm going to move his cage back onto the area where it's kept. So let's go sort that bit So out. this is the area where Teddy is kept. So I'm going to sweep all of the sawdust and old stuff off the top so his nice clean cage can go back on there. So I've just 
just finished sweeping up the top so I'm going to pop on his cage on there now. So his cage is back up there now so I'm going to pop in his food, water and vegetables. So I just popped his vegetable dish in up there, let's see, got some vegetables there and then his food dish is down here and then his water dish with his probiotic in it is down there. So the next thing I need to do is I've got a special thing I like to put on it as well. So every time I clean him out I like to give him a little treat and this is some kind of hamster treat. So this is dates and apricots and this is high in vitamins and um, he absolutely loves these. So I'm going to put one of these on his cage as well. As you can see I just popped it at the back there. So yeah. So the last thing I need to do with his cage is to see whether little man actually likes his nice clean fresh cage I clean him out about once a month because he's litter trained he doesn't need it cleaning out like some people clean them out every week some people clean them out every two weeks I clean them out every month because he doesn't get really that disgusting and I only clean him out because um, I just feel like after a month the bedding is starting to go a bit stale so uh, yeah so I'm now gonna pop him in there I'm going to just pop him on the floor here and see whether he likes his nice clean cage. So now Teddy is all happy in his nice clean cage, I'm going to give him a nut from his food. Okay, he doesn't want that. Um, I'm now going to organise and clean the bottom of his cupboard where I keep everything because at the moment everything is everywhere. So I'm going to clean it all up and pack it all away. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of the cupboard. I've now removed everything, I'm going to sweep it all out. So I've sweeped it all out now, I'm going to pop everything back nice and organised. So I've just finished tidying and organising all of his stuff so it's looking so much more cleaner and tidier than it did before. Tell me it was an absolute state um, and looked so mucky. So I'm so happy now that I got his stuff organised and he has a nice clean cage. This is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.